Right after the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which is a movable feast that depends when Easter is celebrated, we have another movable feast, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and it makes a lot of sense to celebrate a feast in honor of Mary's heart right after we honor the heart of Jesus, because these two hearts are so much alike. St. Augustine once wrote that Mary first received into her heart what she then conceived in her womb, the Word of God. Her heart was totally pure and immaculate, with no obstacle to receiving God's Word to her. She was completely open to doing God's will at every moment of her life. Here's something Pope Francis said about Mary and her faithfulness to doing God's will at every moment, something that you and I can remind ourselves to do as we pray a daily offering at the beginning of each day. Quote, Mary said her yes to God, a yes which threw her simple life in Nazareth into turmoil, and not only once, any number of times she had to utter a heartfelt yes at moments of joy and sorrow, culminating in the yes she spoke at the foot of the cross. I ask myself, am I a Christian by fits and starts, or am I a Christian full time? Our culture of the ephemeral, the relative, also takes its toll on the way we live our faith. God asks us to be faithful to him daily in our everyday life. This is a real journey to walk with the Lord always, even at moments of weakness, even in our sins. Never to prefer a makeshift path of our own, that kills us. Faith is ultimate fidelity, like that of Mary.